Welcome back to the channel guys. Today as promised I will I gonna do some couple sketch. So basically sketches are done on the iPad already and I'm just gonna re-sketch them. Uh, well they are very dirty sketches basically so I'm just gonna re-sketch some stuff show you how to what I do doesn't mean it's like that but um, how I do my my volume when the curves and how the, 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 the body moves. So I have a, here a, a, a dragon, which is a draw an iPad and a coil fish. So basically it's both are very, um, not so simple to draw because you have to get the scales right and to get the right movement to have the 3D effect that many people have a problem with. And particularly for me, dragons are a little bit hard because I have the, the hands and the proportions of the arm. So the front arm of the, the dragon is normally, you know, is just a human uh, on a sense. So you have the forearm, the biceps and the shoulder and on the back, the back leg is just also, you have a, the, the, the chin and then the, the top of leg, you know, so. So let's go to it. So we start with the dragon. So I'm just gonna sketch quickly the head. So in red, I always use red first. And then from there we take on, okay? So we start always with the head, the, the eyes. Because I have already laid down the drawing once. So I don't have to really sketch that. So it's kind of more fast forward kind of sketch and so it's not something I have to really worry about it but it, be aware that's his only sketch so it's not something has to be perfect yet so when you clean it they also sketch with a pen or a black pencil or whatever you're using it that's when you should be more careful about what you're doing and how you're doing that you know so but the moment is just a sketch so so be aware always to have uh, the horns you know, so. So the whiskers, are important to have the whiskers. So I'm using a pen, a, a bow pen Beaky, which is, I like to draw a lot of them, just for sketching stuff, it's fantastic. At the moment, actually, I'm using a lot. And I'm trying to, it's not to rely, rely so much on an iPad as, as everybody does at the moment. Try to keep up both on you know, the iPad and and my paper. So if you see, I'm not really caring about much of the sketch itself. It's just laying on the paper. The way that comes up with the black on top of it. That's when things are serious. So I don't gonna bother you guys with the whole process of the sketch. I'm just gonna make it more important. So the heads, some part of the movement of the body, one or two claws, and the scales is one part of the body. So just to have some feeling, some idea how I, I sketch these guys. But as I said, doesn't have a really a general rule for that. You do as, as you as you wish. Back in the day, I had struggled a lot with these kind of um, things. I was looking online a lot, but. At that time, was not much of information back on, and so I had to struggle a lot on my own to learn it. So here is when it started to get very important to take care of the movement of it. So that's the neck, how the movement works. So in this case here the dragon, the spine of the dragon runs all over here, twist backwards. So here is one of the shoulders, elbow and forearm. So here is the one finger, claw. It's a very cool technique to the claws, just to not look so artificial, it looks more like a, a real claw. So never do this really pointy, really sharp thing, yeah? I'm just trying to always keep more natural. As it's a sketch, I'm not going to tattoo it anyway, so it's just something to show you guys. So here, and normally as I showed in previous videos, it's like just imagine 
a spiral. And this spiral gives you the 3D effect also for the scales later. Which is something you can use for snakes, also for the fish. So, so here you have the other horn comes out. I exaggerate a little bit everything, so normally I make a little bit more, like the sketches more. So I make it more way, but of course you can make your horns shorter if you want, you can make, apply hairs. It's, it's, it doesn't have a rules, it's just something your imagination goes, and that's just how it goes. So here you see the, the bottom part of the dragons. Here the other shoulder, so more or less here. We don't see much of it, it's because it's going behind the dragon. So here is important because that is the belly where you actually see the belly of the dragon. So if you see here, I make this translation here in the middle, a little bit here. So give the little fatty perspective of the dragon so you have this movement. Again, we use this as I used before in the previous video and that also guides me for the belly the movement of the belly where I want the belly to be so here you see the, the, the arm from behind so you have just the here is the um, wrist but all seen from behind so you don't have much of motion there you just have a little then the finger here again so one of the knuckles so the knuckle that's one of them, second one, and the third one, which is the finger in hand, okay? Very important, don't miss that, otherwise it looks a little bit disabled, okay? Same thing here. As you don't see much of it because it's behind the hand, just remove this claw. And that's it. So it's the only three, two, three claws. You don't need really to see the whole thing to imagine. So the drug is a lot about imagination as well. So you don't need to have the whole picture, the whole show of the picture on your face when you're drawing it. You know, so you can use, and normally they have always this movement when like it's climbing movement like this. So one, one, one claw or one arm is like contracted. The other one is always reaching up. Okay, so isn't this very, um, the schwa from the Nike, that's the movement of the dragon. So one one direction, another one direction, always. So up and down, so make this direction, and the other way, all right, okay? So imagine always the, 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 the Nike symbol, and that what makes the the dragons, the dragon movement of the, the legs, so how they climb, how they move, and wind and stuff, okay? Simple, but uh, so it's very effective. A very good book if you can find online, still is very, very, very rare, I believe it's very, almost impossible. It, I have a, unfortunately I don't have the original, I have a copy, it's called, uh, uh, let me think the name of the book, it's a, done by a tattoo artist, uh, Eddie Hardy. He made a really nice, like, a, it's, it's very basic, but it shows you a lot of uh, technique how to do dragons, the movement of dragons. Here again, the same thing. So, so another tattoo is definitely done books on his claws, some other designs and stuff. So there's a lot of information out there. So, okay, I key, I'm gonna just make a little quick uh, movement again. So as I said, I don't wanna bother you guys so much of the whole process with Dragon, because it's, it takes a lot of time if you're gonna draw the whole thing. So here is important, because the movement change. So the rings get closer and start to open because that is where the, the movement starts. So this is very important to get close on here. You know, if you see it. So it comes from there. And then you can really refine your sketch from here. So then you get the perfect little movement. You see there? So here, basically what it means, this is the middle of the belly. So that is the middle of the belly, and here we will statistically change slightly to here. So 
so here is the top of the dragon spinal dragon this direction uh, this direction as we wish and here goes down so here it starts the top of the leg which I'm not gonna make so far and here the shin okay so here this is what I want to share guys is something really okay so that this is very important you see the direction of the, the wings change because the, the angle of the dragon the movement of the dragon will change too and now here you come from the bottom because it comes from behind so here in this part it has a lot of space so you would, you could, you can insinuate the belly slightly there, but here the belly will show a lot. So okay, I make just a very quick sketch, so it's not so take so much time. And here we go. So here you will see exclusively only the belly behind the arm coming out or the leg sorry pardon pardon me there's a leg it's not arm and then here you just can literally the line so the belly will come from there all the way cut inside and here and then here goes back into the top again and so so then here in this one in this case you use again the same the same um, technique of circling and let's go back to the job here so that is going direction to the tail which is here okay so very simple when I want to draw you can draw in the very different directions in my case I don't use that but is there people who does uh, to have a line guideline so this is the spinal dragon so here is the bones so when you have the bones you hide the other part of the neck so because this is the bones are very hot white so you don't have to worry about that So then after that, you can get like a transparent paper put on top of it and trace all of it. In the iPad, we don't need that. So you just redo, do, do, do again. As many times as you want, you know, many times you program your iPad to have a layers, but I, I actually kind of um, want to carry on doing paper as well. So here, this is a really, really important part because here it goes back a little bit. So it looks like he goes inside. It's kind of complicated here. So it's a bit. So because he has to be spiky, but not so. Because you have to see different angles. So a bit sideways, a little bit side and top of it. And then it's just only side because it's only the top again side and slowly start to angle again so you start to see more the top of the spine again okay again here so when you clean the drawing, you have a lot of things to, to take care of, but just the main guideline, guideline for this. So then here again, goes back only to see more like the side of the spine or the bones of the back. Because here you see the belly a lot, so, and it has to disappear. Because it goes gradually back into, because the body's side of the belly here. Okay, so then here, back here again, and then here's the belly, so as this, so the needle would be more like here. 
So again, go appears down the back there. So a little bit spiky there. Set, 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 set. Okay. Um, well, talking about some some of you guys asked me for the. So here I defined my my belly detail, so which I not to show slightly, but not so much, because uh, here. So. And then here the belly, of course. Um, so what I would say, is in terms of um, of scales, um, so in my case I don't use this technique, but you can actually do a very fine line like this, like kind of grid. But then you have to be very careful because some parts where the dragon moves, he opens it. Okay, so we'll open and close. And if you don't do that open and close, it will look really flat. So here kind of go close, close, close to the, and goes behind again. So then the second one, which one will show more. But as I do this already kind of automatically from my head, so you see, you have these grids, yeah. Here, similar situation. Put kind of back here and open up here again. So it's all about like a technique. So if you do that for a few times and practice a lot of this, you definitely gonna be able to, you know, no much time start to do more like an eye, like I do. So I don't have this. Which I will show in this part here. So here's more for you to get the idea of the grids of the scales. This is a guideline, you know. And try to never do two small scales on the dragon. Or depends on the style you're drawing, of course, about the snake. But if you do something more like a, a kind of inter between traditional and new traditional bit realistic kind of thing. Try to do something which is like a middle range size. Don't do so small, but don't do so big. This is definitely not good, it doesn't look good. So if you, if you notice here, so you have all this, so this is the belly. The belly of the guy. Okay, so then you can define here using different color. So then we go with the black on top of it. That would say it would be something which you take care much more of when I'm doing it than actually the other one, the other way around. As you see here, this is very important. This is the part where you have to really put attention to not mess up your sketch. You're gonna clean up a lot of your drawings. In my case, I make very dirty sketches, so to clean up this, you know, but in this case here I made it very quick and very just to show. So we don't have a, so then I make this very fine line here to define my belly and this from the line I can decide what, to, so I want the light to be the other side of the dragon. So what I would do, get a little bit darker here because that's the dark part of it and then a little shading, very tiny bit of shading here this side, which will follow the line on this nice here, okay. So just a little shade in there. And then here I would make this, you can make it different ways. Uh, some people do this way. I mean, it's, it's not, there's again, it's, there are no rules. I would say more, it's more like a, a structure rules. It would be more saying if you can, you know, geometric patterns and stuff, but not rules of how to draw, what to draw and so on. And then you can make an, like a second little line inside here, which will make a bit more detail into that. So, you know, if it's a big dragon, it, would, it looks very good. So, make it the main lines in dark, and then I mean, the other lines inside like a little bit lighter. So, nevertheless, let's go, let's just sketch a little bit the high of the dragon quickly. So this part here. So 
soon I will show you how to draw the head of the dragon in, in parts so have all the, the like triangles and details and how to to get without uh, missing proportions and stuff so it looks really because the dragon doesn't have to, to have a uh, same size eyes or it's very actually I can make a video in, in, like a f different a few videos in and different um, explain different things so this horn here should be bigger so this should be smaller so my one is wrong so that's why you do red first or lighter color first so you can always correct your mistakes which will happen proportion mistakes a lot so this is like that okay but it's totally normal to make mistakes in drawings so the nose is something really really complicated i believe for me it's not so easy it's like every every life you know every form of life nose is always of the bone here this so the whisker see they go they go apart so the so if the movement goes it's like a folder in and out so moves it okay So next video we'll make on water to draw waves, how to draw fire, clouds and stuff like that, which is very for someone doesn't even mean that you need to do Japanese or Asian style or whatever how you people call. You know, but it's pretty much something you can use for every single style, you know. So if you're tattooing anything, you can use this kind of a technique, you know, for you know if you use a of course, realistic and not because realistic you have to copy whatever you whatever you see. But um, when it comes down to this, so here we go, scales. Uh, so this is the one, the bottom part ones. So this is very round. Again, it's kind of a halfway. So this one here is the important one. So it's like a kind of. Um, so day one here, link from here to here. Uh, second one, because this is the bottom part of the dragon, it's just, it just falls like a halfway, it's more like a conic. And then this one here, go to the middle there. So technically should have another line there. And then this one here, forward. So again, you go from here, there again from here you have a, again the same situation make a very like almost a half scale but folding back so that gave us the 3d effect of the, the the movement then this is more round bit more round super round half conic so if you see the movement is always this but not a totally you have to always have this little back so that gives the food the 3d effect on it so again you can do the way many people do which is like a just use a flat ones all the same size and then just end in half of it and everything but that always gonna look your dragon or fry fish or snake or whatever you're doing always gonna look very flat okay like a but that is the style for old school, for example, that's the way you do. So you never you will never do this way in old school in an old school project because that would look sort of a little bit wrong in a way, you know. And because they are flat, they're only 2D projects. But if you do it in um one new traditional way or or let's say graphical realism away or something like that okay so basically that's what it is if you see here you have the movement to that direction and it goes 
this direction. Okay, so it's curve, always curve. No? So um, always keep in mind that the direction is this, okay? Don't do scales the other way around. If you do this direction, it will totally ruin. I have a scene that happens, and it looks not so cool. Okay, this is for the dragon, super simple. Hope you guys have a good time with that, and we'll see us next time.